right, what's going on, guys? Up here at the uh, Wasatch Shooting Range, just up above our shop uh, in northern Utah. And uh, we're going to run some Segas today. Had quite a few people that were uh, wanting us to get some fit footage of these, so we're going to take a few minutes here, and we're going to get some live fire shots for you guys. Probably try to mix this in with the, uh, some of the close-ups that we've done and um, a more detailed breakdown of it in a video. But for right now, we're just going to get some uh, live fire time and see what we can pull off. First one that we're going to run is one that you've seen before already. We're going to, this was the same one that's been in a few different videos. Some snippets in the TNP videos from Nothing Fancy, USNER, Doc, and Such both did a uh, video on this shotgun. We're going to run this with a 20 round drum. This is one that you've also seen in a previous video that was just riding on the wall there in the shop. This is more our uh, competition Sega 12 gauge model. Uh, Magwell allows straight drop free magazines, a little bit faster reloads. So we're going to go ahead and run a couple mags through this, show you how this one runs. This one is uh, tuned for a lot lighter loads, so you'll notice a little more recoil running the same rounds versus the one that we just did, the one with the quad rail on the 20 round drum. A lot of you have been asking about our base model Sega 12 pistol grip conversion. This is one that we have done uh, as an inventoried item. So if you buy one of our base model pistol grip conversions, this is what you get. This has had the Dura coating done on the bottom. Perfect example of what happens if you don't use high enough power loads. 
Neat thing about the Segas is that they allow you to change that gas setting on the front. So when you get a jam or you have a malfunction with the Sega 12, make sure you're in the right gas setting for the load that you're running. Okay, we've gone ahead and we've switched the gas setting on the front to setting number two, which is the higher setting. That'll allow more gas to come through the shotgun and it will allow it to cycle lighter loads. Let's go ahead and try the same loads again and see if it runs. Seven and a half shot is usually about as low as you can go in a factory Sega 12. This has had no gas work done, no spring work done. Everything's the same as it was right out of the box, except for the trigger group configuration. If you go to number six shot, it will usually run a lot better.